This disease has one of the most peaceful deaths. There are a lot of diseases that you can die from, and some can be very difficult, as I've talked about before in my other videos. But this disease that we're talking about today is one of the more peaceful ways to die. Today, we're talking about end-stage kidney disease. Now, don't get me wrong. End-stage kidney disease is a life-limiting chronic illness that is very hard to have. Because it's so long-term, people have to live their life on dialysis, which usually means them going to a clinic three times a week, spending hours at that clinic getting dialysis, which can be exhausting and hard on its own. End-stage kidney disease is still a difficult disease to have, but dying from end-stage kidney disease is definitely one of the most peaceful ways to die that I've seen as a hospice nurse. Another thing about kidney disease, it's one of the diseases I would call like a chronic long-term illness. So you will have a bunch of ups and downs. So before you come onto hospice, like I said, it can be difficult because there's ups and downs in the kidney disease and your body will fluctuate. You'll be doing well, then you'll be doing bad, then well, then bad. So before you come on hospice, it can be difficult. This disease definitely would be one I would call a long journey. Now, when you get to the end of that journey is where I can assure you it is usually very peaceful. What usually happens with end-stage kidney disease is someone will be on dialysis for many years. Eventually, this person who's on dialysis for many years will say, listen, enough is enough. I don't want to keep doing this. It's too hard on my body. It's too tiring. I'm done. I don't want to do it. And they will stop dialysis or their body will say enough. I can't keep doing this. And their body stops tolerating dialysis. So they will have to stop dialysis because of that. When that happens, that's when they can come onto hospice. You cannot come onto hospice with end stage kidney disease and be on dialysis. So the main thing I always want people to know who come onto hospice with end stage kidney disease is usually once they stop dialysis, their decline will be quick. Their end of life journey is usually only seven to 10 days. So they can be pretty alert and oriented and like living their life. They stop dialysis and usually, sometimes there's some outliners, but usually seven to 10 days, they will have died. Now the seven to 10 days is a peaceful process, but it is quick. So that's one of the first things I tell patients and their families when they do sign on to hospice with end stage kidney disease is that it will likely be peaceful. I'll explain how they will progress, but it will be quick. So the main symptoms that I see with end stage kidney disease are confusion, lethargy, and itching. Most people, will come on to hospice right after they stop dialysis. They may have some confusion and lethargy, meaning they're just really tired all the time, right when they come on. They may not, but within a few days, almost everyone with end-stage kidney disease will start having confusion and basically be sleeping almost 24 hours a day. The other main symptom I see that can be troublesome is itching. Their skin will start itching because of the toxins building up in their body because they're no longer on dialysis. So usually with that, we'll give some kind of medication to help with the itching. But for the most part, they're so tired and sleeping most of the time that they, they aren't noticing the itching. But if there's a symptom that I do see a lot, it's itching. So as a hospice team, how do we help this person? Like I said, for the most part, we as the hospice team don't have to do much. The person usually is not experiencing pain. They're usually not experiencing shortness of breath. There are not many symptoms to manage. I always educate the family and the patient that the biggest thing you're going to see is that they're sleeping all the time. And the main thing the caregivers and the, and the family and the loved ones have to do is keep their loved one clean and safe and comfortable. Usually they are those things, so they don't have to do much either except for be with their loved one. I think it's important that the family and the patient know that this could be a quick process just so they're not surprised how quickly this person declines and also so they can get family and friends in who want to see their loved one before, before they die. For the most part, many people are afraid of dying or they don't know what it's going to be like. They're afraid it's going to be painful. And this disease in particular is one where someone who says, I just want to fall asleep and die. I wish I could just fall asleep and die. This disease is a disease where that's basically what happens. You stop dialysis and then you slowly fall asleep 
until you die. Most people do not have many symptoms, depending on what else is going on in their body. Some people have some comorbidities, meaning they have other things going on that can cause pain or shortness of breath or restlessness. But generally speaking, if you're purely dying because of end stage kidney disease and you're just stopping dialysis, like I said, it's pretty straightforward seven to 10 days and you're usually sleeping most of the time and comfortable until you die. Many people fear the end of life because they fear it's going to be this crazy chaotic ending. And now, especially in hospice, that it's, we do everything we can to make that not happen. Not just with this disease, with any disease, the whole point of hospice being there is to help manage any symptoms that come up, help educate the family, the patient about how their disease progression will take place while on hospice, what to do to help your loved one who's dying on hospice. That's the whole reason why hospice is here and how we can help. Now, I know I said this is the most peaceful way to die, and I do feel like this is one of the more peaceful ways to die, but there are many many peaceful ways to die on hospice and not every disease is going to cause symptoms at the end of life. And in fact, the whole point of hospice being there is to manage those symptoms. So having hospice in the home, educating yourself prior to death, no matter what you're dying from can help you tremendously. So like I always say, there's nothing to fear.